everybody Ann here sitting in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you and today I've got to get something done. I've been doing a whole lot of nothing lately and I have a project I need to move that fire pit over um, because I haven't been able to use it because it's so close to the ca uh, the canopy so I need to dig the hole deeper and I want to improve it a little bit and I'm going to see if I can get that done today but before I show you that I have to show you something and you are going to laugh. It, this is an example of how dumb I am and it involves my phone <laughs> my my old but I'm using again cell phone remember how the screen had got cracked and um I I couldn't water got up underneath of it and I couldn't use it very well or whatever and then my new phone which is kind of a lower end phone um than the one you know my old phone that got cracked um just went on the fritz so I had to set it back to factory you know reset and I'm going to give that phone to my neighbor um, it does work. It's just not powerful enough for all the things I like to do. Um, anyhow, I was on my track yesterday using this LG Stylo. It's a good phone. And I thought, you know what? This screen is super cracked and there's a little moisture. But I'm looking at it and I'm looking at the edges where it's cracked. So I just took my little finger, fingernail and lifted it up. And you want to know what? It wasn't the actual screen that was cracked. It was a tempered glass screen protector that was put on it when I bought it. So look at this. All right, so this is it. This is it. This is the screen that was cracked. There, It's hard, really hard for you to see, but it was cracked up pretty good. And right in this area here is where the moisture had accumulated. Um, it had dried up fairly well, so I was able to use the screen again, you know, the touch screen. But I just peeled this off. I didn't even think about it. It was the tempered glass protector that was cracked, not the actual screen. So I've ordered another screen protector and um, it's supposed to get here in a couple days so I'm just going to put that on until then. Um, I'm just going to be very very careful. So you know my phone is back to normal. It's working great. My other phone is going to go to my neighbor lady and all is well. <laughs> I'm so stupid. When I was a little girl uh, in the third grade my third grade teacher thought hmm I think this kid is unusually smart. Weird. So she sent me to be tested <laughs> along with a slew of other kids and they tested me. I don't know. It took a couple hours. I was just a little kid. I had to answer a bunch of questions, look at some puzzles and diagrams and whatnot. And so they decided that, mmm, she's a smart kid. So they put me in this other, this special program. It's called, it was called MGM Mentally Gifted Minors. Weird. And um, it's for kids who have uh, what is considered uh, a genius IQ, okay? So my IQ is only like 140. So, I mean, it's not super high or anything. But, I mean, it's enough to get me in Mensa. Oh, I did go to Mensa for a while. And, um... No, ain't my thing. Anyhow, so they put me in this class, and for years I felt like a big dummy because everybody was so much smarter than me. But this is just an example how even super smart people, some of life's most simple, basic things totally go whoosh right over our heads. I mean, we're so focused on the minutiae and the details and, you know, super, you know, complicated things but when it comes to something as simple as figuring out that your cell phone screen is actually not cracked it's only the screen protector um that kind of stuff it just boggles my mind here's the fire pit and i want to move it over into this area and it is overgrown with grass and weeds so looks like i gotta get the lawnmower out <music> You can see that it doesn't get this really tall stuff. You can keep going back and forth at different angles and get it eventually, but it's easier just to pull it by hand, really. So I'm going to go ahead and dig, dig the hole, like right in this area here. Right in this area right here. And then afterwards, I'll go ahead and get the rest of that cut up. Oh, I don't look forward to this, but it's going to be great once it's done. <music> I think that's 
that's deep enough, at least for my purposes. So now I just got to <sighs> reconstruct it. Oh my goodness, I've had to take several rests, but I'll get it done. Here's the first layer. I tried to stagger the spacing of the bricks so that they would kind of, you know, and I also needed to turn the holes to the outside so that air could get into the bottom of the fire pit. And so I left a few bricks out here and there, but I don't think that'll affect the stability too much. Who do we got in the chicken jacuzzi today? Looks like Romeo and his two girls, because Miss Pris is still sitting on the nest. Look at that big rooster. Looks like I spoke too soon. Miss Prish is coming out and taking her own dust bath. Listen to her. The whole time she's out, she makes that sound or the raptor sound. Oh, let's go check her nest. Okay, all eggs still look intact. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What? Oh, there's a there's one extra in here. It's a Roxy egg. She shouldn't be laying in this nest. And I don't think she laid it today because I pulled two out of the nest, so I'm not gonna try and eat that one. But uh yeah, she puts them all the way down there. Um, right on top of that metal. I don't know if that's good, but I guess she knows best. So it's gonna be interesting to see how many hatch out. As you can see, I've only got two layers done and I ran out of bricks and that's because I'm doing it differently. Um, on the bottom, if you remember, they were all vertical and on top I'm crossing it this way, um, horizontal or depending on how you look at it. But I need one more layer of bricks and I don't have them. I may ask my neighbor if they still have some uh, bricks laying around there so that I can finish it. Uh, but I need a bunch more bricks before this this is going to be considered done. But it is a start, and it is actually going to be better than the last one. These bricks, if I if I layer them in a manner that is some go this way, some go this way, and then the top ones are going to go this way, it's going to be stabler than the other one. Ooh, it's hot. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get this finished today, but it's a work in progress. I kind of sort of finished it. It's just temporary. I found a few more bricks and some big rocks and I just kind of put them around. So, you know, if I want to build a fire tonight, I can go ahead and do that. Um, what I'd really like is to find more of these because they're solid, they're, they'll be more stable, and just put them, um, those have to go that way. When I put them this way, they'll have to go this way and then this way, and you know what I mean, um, just to stabilize the whole thing. But I've got it like that, so if I want to burn a fire tonight, I can. And, uh, well, I got some things in the mail, you guys. I had put some $15 Amazon gift cards on my wish list on Amazon, and so far I've received three of them. I featured them in another video, but I got three more, three more, yes, and I think they're all from the same person. I'm going to read the note. Hi, Anne. I have watched every video since you moved to your tiny home. Hope you get the generator soon. God bless you and Papa from Aunt D. Thank you, Auntie D. This does help. So I've got a total of six now, and I continue putting at least a dollar a day into my um, Amazon gift card balance account, whatever. And so little by little, I'm accumulating, and I think I'm going to be able to get the generator hopefully by next summer. So thank you. Thank you so much, Aunt D. And thank you to the other people who have sent me gift cards as well. Um, little bit by little, I'm going to, it's going to add up. It is going to add up. So thank you so much. And thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos. Oh, that makes me think of one thing. The whole 5,000 uh, subscriber extravaganza. I'm thinking whether or not I'm actually going to be able to roll down a hill in bubble wrap. I mean, my neighbor has one, but I don't know if I can actually do it. My joints have been killing me lately. Plus, I've been waiting just a little bit of time because YouTube can be kind of weird. You know, they'll say you, you have a whole bunch more subscribers and then two days, a week later, they're, they take them all back or people unsubscribe or whatever. So I've been waiting a little bit just to make sure it's going to stay above 5,000 and it's looking like it. 
So I don't know. I may just end up doing a giveaway. I don't know if I can roll down a hill without injury. So I'm going to have to think about that. So that's coming up very soon. Anyhow, um, I think this video is long enough, don't you? That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.